So as the title of this video suggests, we're gonna talk about editor GUI icons. In specific, we're gonna talk about the ones that we're gonna put in our own windows, in our buttons, in our labels, etc. Now I'm gonna show you how to steal the ones from Unity so that your window looks like something from Unity itself. And also I'm gonna show you how to quickly take an icon and put it into your window. So right here, I've docked my window called icon preview window, and I've already set up some code. This code basically is a basic editor window. We've got our static creation function here and we've located it at my project icon preview. And this is just the code on how to create the actual window itself. Now in our own GUI, what we'll do is we'll create some content and we're going to use the editor GUI utility. And in specific, we're gonna use the icon content method. Now what this will do is it will basically take the name of an icon and create this GUI content for you. Now, Unity has a ton of these icons stored already that you can see around the editor, and we can use them like the help at 2x, and the 2x just stands for a larger version of the help icon. Now, we'll need something to display this, so we'll just do a label, and we'll just chuck the content into there. So if I save this and I come back into Unity, you'll see an icon will pop up, which will be a help icon. And there we go. And you'll notice this is the same, but a little bit larger than the icons you see in the corner there. And we can steal any of the icons we see around here. And I'll leave a link in the description to a helpful resource that will show you what those icon names are, so you can steal them for yourself. Now, we can also use this functionality to create our own icons really quickly. I see a lot of people when they're creating these windows, they basically go through and create a texture, they get the texture from resources, and they use that in their windows, which is tedious and a bit of a pain. So what I'll show you is how to do it really quickly. And what we do is we can actually create a folder called editor default resources. And under this folder, we create a subfolder called icons. Now I've got a couple of icons here, a bunny rabbit and a puppy, just cause you know, furry animals. Here we go, we've put the bunny into there. Now this is a folder that Unity looks for, for any icons that it actually uses. So if I come into Visual Studio and I'll just copy and paste this code here and I'll put a two there and I'll just change this out and we'll put into here bunny. If I save that and come back into Unity, once it's reloaded, you'll see the bunny little pop up here, the little icon, there we go. And there's our bunny rabbit. And of course the size does matter when you're using this GUI content. Now we also have a puppy here, but you'll see if I try and use the puppy, put it just underneath the bunny rabbit. There we go, and we'll say puppy. If I press save and I come back into Unity, you'll see it doesn't load up. What actually happens is we get a console error. And that's basically because Unity doesn't go and search for all these icons in your, in your project. It wants to have those icons under there. So there you go. Really quickly, that's how you can steal the icons Unity already uses and also add your own icons really quickly for your GUI windows.